Welcome to IVF Stories Online. Let us not forget how IVF began. The media across the world echoed the news of Louise Brown's arrival on the 25th of July 1978 in England. She was the first test tube baby, the first big fat positive result and living proof from the scientific beginnings of IVF treatment. Two gods, doctors who IVFers will always be grateful, Dr Patrick Steptoe and Dr Robert Edwards never gave up on their dream to help the infertile community. Since that historic day, many babies have been born all over the world through the process of ART. From our research, we discovered infertility being the most common reason for women aged 20 to 45 to see their GP after pregnancy itself. IVF in its infancy was heavily scrutinised as something miraculous and was met as being alien to our culture bringing out the sceptics and critics, inducing fear of the unknown. Indeed, Louise has grown into a normal, healthy adult and now has a family of her own. Still today, the media seek stories of the latest miraculous treatment, sensationalising them, often to be met by both doctors and the public with plenty of negatives as well as positives. Presently, the treatment has become more acceptable and common, but still expensive and not without its politics. Certainly medicine and technology have moved on in leaps and bounds since those early days. The procedure has now further developed with many variations in helping both male and female. The protocols have been adjusted to enhance and meet the different infertility categories. Due to technology advances in using the internet, these protocols are far more accessible to understand. Empower yourself with knowledge. There are many statistics to help access your chances of success, but a word of warning too. Contact your doctor first. Take fertility tests before determining whether or not IVF is the right course of treatment for you. Do some research and find out exactly what are the definitions from your results. You can request a follow-up with your details from your practitioner or OB GYN. But more than anything, make a note of any concerns to address your physician. On our website we include many observations and first-hand experiences from people who have gone through IVF. Our aim is to support you through the complexities, acting in the role as a friendly roadmap. To hear from trusted friends who have walked the talk.